We already know that tooling for AI agents is really powerful, but in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create your own custom tool. We are going to do a more deliberate search for news at a specific period of time, specifically within the last 24 hours. So the first thing we need to do is go to serper.dev. And like I mentioned before, if you haven't done this yet, go ahead and sign up. And if you already have, then sign in and you'll be greeted with your dashboard. Now, if we go to playground, as you can see here, what the, custom, what the basic Serper Dev tool in Crew AI that gives us is the search tool, but it has images, videos, maps, news, shopping, it has an image search lens, which is in beta right now, it has a web page, which is in beta. You know, there's much more that it can do. But let's, let's go ahead and go to the news section and a little bit changes, but let's say for the news, we wanna type AI agents. And for the date range, we want to use the past 24 hours. We can also change this. How about change that to 20? And now if we go ahead and click the search button, this is going to give us a results, right? And the difference now is in the previous video, if you remembered, uh, there was actually an organic here, but this is now news and it gives us a title, a link, a snippet, the date, the source, and also an image URL. So we can kind of make the output file a little bit better. We can give us more information and maybe make it look a little nicer too with these images. So this gave us 20 results all within the last 24 hours about AI agents. And you can see that at down the bottom, it tells you how much credits it costs, that costs two, but that's fine. So there's a few more parameters, right? We have uh, this TBS, which bit the D stands for a day. So if I, if I change this to week, this is gonna change to a W and so forth, right? But I wanna go back to the past 24 hours and we can actually, yeah, we'll just keep it at 20 search results. So we're gonna search this again, but now we wanna take the results from the news property here and then send them to the analyst to save into the markdown file. Now, instead of creating a new crew, we're just gonna really be customizing yesterday's. So we can just go ahead and copy, let's go ahead and copy day three and then paste that in here. And then we're just gonna rename, we're just gonna rename this it's gonna, uh, day four. Okay, so we can open this up, go to our source, and now we can create a new folder called tools. Inside of here, we're going to create a new file called custom, let's say custom tool.py. Now, there are a few basic things that we need when we create a custom tool. First thing is we need the first import, which is from Crew AI Tools import base tool. And then we need to create a class. So we're going to say, class custom custom serper dev tool this is the name of it and then need to take in a base tool all right and then we need to actually have a name and a description for this tool so we can say name give it a type of string is equal to custom serper dev tool but actually let's just say let's give some spaces here serper dev tool and then the description it's kind of already here description is search the internet for news Okay, so we have the name of the description, and then we need uh, a define or a, a define underscore run function. So def underscore run takes in self, and then we can give it multiple parameters here. But the first one will just be kind of the search query or for the news, and then it's going for now. It's going to return a string. We'll probably end up changing this. Okay, so then for the pi docs, this is going to be searching the internet for news, and right now just return this is a test. Okay. Whew. That was a lot. I know we kind of just, I kind of just ran through that really quick. Uh, but the, the main thing is we have to create a class for this tool. We have to give it a name, a description, and then this underscore run function is what will be executed whenever it's the agent's turn to run this tool. So now we actually have to go back to Serper Dev and we actually get the code that it used to execute this, right? So if you, instead of the results, so we got the results, we need to go to code. You can, you know, many multiple languages, right? But I'm going to use Python. I don't want to use, I don't want to use requests. So basically I'm just going to copy this, come back into cursor. And instead of inside of this return, let's go ahead and I'm just going to paste all of this here. Uh, but so the, you, this, we have the base URL. This is the payload that we want, right? Except for the payload here for the queue is for the query. We don't want it to be AI agents. We want it to be the query that will be given uh, to here from the LLM. So here's the query, the num, this is, we could also have this as a parameter as well. So we can say like default 10, but I'm just gonna set this to 20 for now. The TBS is like, you know, how many 
how many days or how many hours or whatever. So this is just going to get all the all the query for the news within the last day. Also here for this is the API key. We can actually uh, import OS and then we can say uh, from dot env load dot env because we need to get our env uh, file and then get the serper API key. So then from here we can say OS dot get serper dev is it, is it called that serper? It's just serper API key. So we can come in here and this is just serper API key. I mean, okay, great. We kind of got it done, but not quite yet. It is, this is going to return that big JSON string, right? So if we come back here, the results, it's going to return all of the, right, all this news and probably the credits too. We don't, we don't need that, right? We just need the news. So how do we do this? Well, you know, there's a couple ways you can do it. You can just kind of, you know, Google search if you or Stack Overflow or something if you don't know how to do it. But you know, I'm using cursor. So what I'm going to do is kind of copy this whole thing here. I know you maybe you can't see all this, but I'm going to copy this inside cursor. You can open up composer. Let's, uh, let's create a new one. So here I'm just going to say, uh, I have, I have this tool and, and the, and the response returns this. I need to just get the news property returned. Okay. So it's going to, what I just basically asked it to do is I only want the news from here, right? I don't, the response dot text is going to return everything and I don't need everything. So let me just go ahead and accept that. Remember tools don't have to be anything extravagant. They can do something simple. And just like this, we are using the Serper API to get us news instead and only within the last 24 hours. Now we need to insert this into our agent. So if you go to your crew.py, you see we have the research agent, which is currently using the Serper dev tool, but instead we need to go from tools.custom tool, import the custom Serper dev tool. And we're just going to replace that there. Okay. And that's, and that's really about it. Although we can customize the task in the config. So if, uh, in the reporting task, when the expected output for the markdown file, we can customize this a little bit. So I had to say, make sure you have the title, summary URL and the image. And then up here in the research task, we want the, the URL image, image and snippet as well. Okay. So this is about done. We're going to uh, go ahead and delete this report.md. So it gives us another one. And then for the inputs, you know, I, we don't need the date anymore because we have the API handling that. And instead for the topic, we're going to say AI agents. And now back in the agents or the task here, we do, we can get rid of the date. You will get an error if you try to run this without, with that date still there. So I think with that, we've kind of modified the last couple of things we need to, to make this work. Now let's try and run this again. We're going to say Python main.py. Okay. So it went ahead and started and it does show that there is some, uh, pedantic error here with, um, with the custom serpent dev tool schema. I don't think this really matters because then it came, it came down here with the senior news researcher for AI agents and it worked, right? So if you get something, you know, things are being updated. Um, this actually worked just the other day without any errors. So this is a little bit new, but it's okay. Cause it still worked. And this is, you know, this is the great thing, right? We just got the news, which gave us the title link snippet date source and image URL. These are all the things that we wanted. Now, if we just kind of keep scrolling down here, it gave us actually 20 results right here. This is the 20th result. And now because we did news, th this had to be articles that are more than likely going to always work and have a website that we can summarize. Whereas when we do the Google search, you know, it could be a YouTube video and you know, this can't summarize a YouTube video natively without understanding that's an actual YouTube video, transcribing it and then doing a summary there, but it just can't do that. Right? So here, when we got to the news researcher, it gave us the final answer, which gave us a title URL and image and snippet of each. Well, here just returned 10. I think probably because we tell it to only return 10, but that's okay. Uh, but now we have the AI agent news report analyst. So it's going to review the context and then create the markdown file for us. 
So here it did, and here is the report.md. Let's actually go ahead and open this up in a preview. Slide this over a little bit, and if we scroll up, you know, here it is. It, this is a little bit more news aggregate worthy. So we have, you know, all the titles for it, the URL where you can click to read more, um, has the image for it, and then a quick summary. And this is perfect. This is exactly what we wanted. So with this custom tool, we get a more refined search because it's always going to be news related and we only got it within the past 24 hours. So we're always going to be caught or up to date. Great job on creating your own custom tool. We're halfway through this series now. And in the next video, I'm going to show you a brand new feature that just came out with Crew AI last week called Flows. In the meantime, here are some of the previous videos in this series. I will see you next video.